questions about the, the due diligence of Rishi Sunak and Boris Johnson because there were reported uh, allegations of this swirling in the summer, mm -hmm. which was in Johnson's government, uh, and again with Rishi Sunak. So it's whether the right questions were asked mm -hmm. about these tax affairs. And there also will be questions about Sahawi as well, because he was asked last summer about these reports of, of tax avoidance. Uh, and he said he was a victim of a smear campaign. That's now, that right. seems to be quite misleading now, because he is being investigated, has now paid a fine for it. It does look, if that's, if that's correct, then it does look as though uh, journalists were asked asking quite legitimate questions. And, uh, I, I mean, I know Simon Walters uh, has said that... Journalist Simon Walters, the independent newspaper, have said that he threatened to sue them if, uh, if, if they pursued in their investigations. And, again, you know, it just looks incriminating. Doesn't mean it necessarily is, but it looks it. And that's always the problem you've got in politics. Mm. It's not just about what you've done and what mistakes you've made. It's about the optics, as we call it. Mm. It's about how it looks to the general public, who, of course, most of us don't have offshore trusts. We don't have huge amounts of money that we can put into tax havens. Mm. Um, we're paying the highest tax burden in 70 years in this country. Mm. And yet we, are, we have people in government who clearly have a very different approach because they can afford to have a different approach. Mm. They can afford to hire the best accountants. Mm. Unfortunately, the rest of us can't.